All right, this video is just a quick review of square roots and perfect squares, as well as cubic roots and perfect cubes. So let me just start by um, reviewing square roots. If you have an equation that says x squared equals 36, then to find x, you need to do the opposite of squaring both sides of the equation, which is finding the square root of both sides of the equation. The square and the square root are inverses, so you're left with x equals the square root of 36. And when you're finding the square root of 36, it's asking what number times itself equals 36. And in this case, there's two options. 6 times 6 equals 36, so 6 squared is 36. But also, negative 6 times negative 6 equals positive 36, because a negative times a negative is a positive. So I know that negative 6 squared is also 36. So the answer here is going to be positive or negative 6. Now, is there any way to take a number and multiply it by itself and get a negative? Let's see. So if I take the square root of both sides, I'd be saying that x equals the square root of negative 36. But the thing is, there's no number that when you multiply it by itself, it will equal a negative. This is called an imaginary number, and we're going to say it does not exist. You'll learn about this a little bit later in your education. All right. Now, if x cubed equals 27, to solve for x, we need to find the cubic root of both sides. And what this means is what times itself three times equals positive 27? And there's only one answer here. 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27, so 3 cubed is 27, so x equals 3. Now, you might be thinking, why doesn't negative 3 work? Well, let's see what that would equal. Negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. Well, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9, and positive 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. So negative 3 cubed is actually negative 27. So if you're finding that x cubed equals negative 27, if you do the cubic root on both sides of the equation, x would equal just negative 3. All right, so let's start solving some of these problems. w squared equals negative 16. So what this is saying is a number times itself is going to equal negative 16. If I take the square root of both sides, I have w equals the square root of negative 16. There's no such thing as the square root of a negative. It doesn't exist. It's an imaginary number. So we're going to write does not exist. And that's your answer. Here, m cubed equals negative 8. I have to take the cubic root of both sides. I'm left with m equals. And what this is saying is something times itself for a total of 3 times equals negative 8. And I know that the answer is going to be negative 2. So m equals negative 2. This is saying n, uh, 7 equals the square root of negative n. So what I want to do first here is get rid of that square root. And I'm going to square both sides of the equation. So now I have 49 equals negative n. Divide both sides by negative 1. Because I'm not worried about negative n, I just want n. And I'm left with n equals 49 divided by negative 1 is negative 49. Here, 64 equals the cubic root of some number. So I'm going to have to cube both sides of the equation. And this would be 64 times 64 times 64, which is actually a big number. 262,144 equals w. All right, to solve this next one, I have 6 minus y squared equals negative 30. I want to get rid of that positive 6, so I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. So I have negative y squared equals negative 36. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. So now I have y squared equals positive 36. What this is saying is something times itself equals 36. And I know that there's two answers here. 6 times 6 equals 36, and negative 6 times negative 6 equals 36. 
So when I take the square root of both sides, I know that the answer is positive or negative 6. This next one says, twice the volume of a cube is 128 cubic meters. Find the lengths of the sides. Now a cube is a 3D shape where all of the sides are squares. So the length, the width, and the height have the same value. And they're saying twice the volume of a cube is 128 cubic meters. Find the length of the sides. So let's just let x equal the side length. Twice the volume means twice length times width times height, because that's what the volume is, equals 128. But I know the length, the width, and the height are all x, because it's a cube and they all have the same um, side lengths. So this is really saying twice x times x times x equals 128. And x times x times x is x cubed. So this is really saying 2x cubed equals 128. To start solving this, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. x cubed equals 64. I'm going to take the cubic root of both sides, and I'll get x equals 4. I hope this was helpful. Please see me if you have any questions.